guys, my name is Ms. Chardé and I am from the Einstein's Fun Nutrition Program. We are a snack ed program and also a member of the Eat Right Phillies program. I'm going to make you guys jollof rice. Jollof rice is from our Taste of Africa Heritage Program. Here's the ingredients we will be using today. Two cups of brown rice, two and a half cups of chopped cabbage, one cup of chopped onions, one cup of chopped carrots, two or three cloves of garlic, one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice reserved, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and lastly, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now, before we get started, you know the most important thing that we have to do. We have to wash our hands. We are going to wash our hands for 20 seconds. The easiest way to do this is either you can sing the happy birthday song or you can do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. To me, I like to just count or I also have my son count to see if he knows all of his numbers. If I was cooking for you, I will make sure that I have gloves on. But today, since I'm at home and I'm cooking for my family, I'm going to cook without the gloves. Okay, now that I am all done washing my hands, the next step that we have to do is to wash our vegetables. All right, so the first thing that we're going to cut is our head of cabbage. Now you're going to need a sharp knife and the safest way to cut a cabbage is you're going to cut straight down the middle, just like I am doing right now. Make sure that your hands are not in the way of the knife. And you're going to cut just like that. You're also going to put it flat down. So make sure that your cabbage is flat down like this instead of up like this. Because if you're trying to cut like that, what's going to happen is because it's not on a flat surface, it can move and you can cut yourself. And we're trying to keep yourself safe. So you always want to make sure that it is flat down onto your cutting board. And then I cut the end off because the end is your stub. So we don't use that part. And then I just cut straight down. Okay, you can have them as big or as small as you want. And I will move this to the side and make sure that that next part is flat. And then I will cut this again. And make sure this is flat again. Okay, so now our cabbage is cut and put in a bowl. So our next step is our onion. What we will do with the onion is that we will cut the end off and we cut the other end off. What I like to do is make sure that both ends are cut off completely. And I make sure that the skin is off. So then you can cut it just like so, okay? And you wanna make sure that your onion is facing down. So again, so that you can have even cuts and that it won't slip on you and cut your hand. The next thing that we will need to chop up is garlic. If you do not have a couple cloves of garlic, you can use garlic powder. So this is a bulb of garlic. So what you're gonna do is crack them open. And that way you'll see there are cloves of garlic. And you only need about two or three, depending on your size. If you like more garlic, add more garlic. If you like less garlic, then use two. I love garlic, so I'm going to use all three. And the easiest way to cut up garlic is to cut the ends off. Use a spoon, and you just kind of hear it snap, and it's easier to pull off the skin. And I cut it into small pieces. There you go. So you cut the ends off once again. And what I like to do is I like to cut the bigger part first. So I've cut it in half. And then I cut the bigger part down to fours. Again, cut it so to make sure that it's on a flat surface. And then I just cut it. And again, you wanna make sure that you watch your hands. So right now we're going to do our brown rice. So the trick about rice is that you have to do every cup of rice is two cups of water. I will measure it out first. 
So that's one cup and two cups. So I put the rice in here and then I'm gonna do four cups of water. Keep in mind that I am going to put some of the tomato juice inside as well. Start your fire and you let it go. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you take your cabbage and then you're gonna take your carrots and you're gonna take your tomato paste and you wanna do two tablespoons. And you're gonna put that in there as well. Turn this down low. Mix this around so it can kind of all get together and blend. In a couple minutes, we will come back to it and add our spices. Time to add spices. First, we're going to use our turmeric. And we're going to put one teaspoon. And then you're going to add your one-fourth of your hot pepper flakes. And then you are going to put in a teaspoon of thyme. Mix this all up. Don't forget to put your top on so it can get all the seasonings together. It's done. We have our vegetables that are done. And then we also have our rice. So what I did was towards the end as it was boiling down, I put the tomatoes and the tomato juice. So take a couple of your spoonfuls, just like that. And then you're gonna mix it together. And once you are done with that, feel free to take a plate. And there is your jollof rice. Right? All right, my friends, I am Miss Sherday, and I will see you guys another time.